The world's oceans are vast and mysterious. Some people are born to explore the depths of the ocean, and it's no surprise that some of these amazing divers find bizarre, unusual, and strange things underwater. In this video, we'll show you some of the most bizarre discoveries made by deep-sea divers. From Goblin Shark to Truck Lagoon's Ghost Fleet, here are 15 strangest things found by deep-sea divers. Number 15. Goblin Shark It's common knowledge that there's a lot of freaky things in the ocean. Perhaps one of the most crazy-looking creatures in the ocean is the Goblin Shark. Just take a look at this creature. Imagine the surprise of deep-sea divers when they saw this terrifying creature. This creature really looks like it came right out of a failed science experiment. With their terrifying-looking mouth and their sharp teeth, they look like the goblins that appear in mythical folklore. And that's actually why they're called goblin sharks in the first place. These guys are usually spotted off the coast of Japan, but their population can also be found through the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. They're usually pinkish in color, and they can grow up to 12 feet long and weigh up to 460 pounds. They're very distinct because of their narrow snouts and fang-like teeth. They're rarely seen, so scientists don't really know much about their behavior. After all, these guys live near the seafloor to depths of 1,200 meters. But these goblins are believed to be solitary animals, just like their other shark relatives. Despite them looking like a villain, they're actually chill creatures that take their time while swimming. They're sluggish and known to be slow pokes, but don't try your luck because they're still sharks after all, and jaws deliver a very powerful bite. It's a jaw-dropping shark that can easily finish off its prey in just one snap of a finger. Number 14. Apollo 11 Engine The largest and most powerful rocket ever built, and the very thing that served as the launch platform for the Apollo Man Moon mission. One could say that the Saturn V is one of the most monumental and iconic rockets. In 1969, the Saturn V rocket blasted the Apollo 11 moon landing mission into orbit. As Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin blasted into space, the engine of the rocket was ejected. And in 2013, a team of deep sea divers discovered the engine of this very iconic rocket 14,000 feet below the ocean's surface off the coast of Florida. That means they recovered the rocket more than 40 years after the original launch. The serial numbers have long faded from the parts. However, there was enough proof that the engine did belong to the Apollo 11. It's quite understandable that the rockets are in poor condition. After all, they hit the ocean at high velocity and they've been submerged in salt water for more than 40 years. Just how cool is that? 13,000-year-old skeleton. What would be your reaction if you spot a human skull while you're diving? For seasoned divers, it's probably normal. But if you're a newbie that tried out diving just because you want to see Nemo and his fish family, then you might freak out. Back in 2007, a team of divers recovered a human skeleton in a Mexican cave. When the skeleton was analyzed, scientists found out that it was actually 13,000 years old, and it's one of the oldest genetically intact human skeletons ever recovered. Based on the analysis of the recovered skull, it belonged to a teenage girl, and she may have been one of the Ice Age humans who first crossed into the Americas using the land bridge that once connected Siberia to Alaska. This also solidifies the theory that these very people started the Native American populations. The skull was pretty much intact, and they're thought to belong to a slightly built girl who was probably 15 or 16 when she died. It was theorized that she may have walked into the dark passages of a cave to find fresh water and have fallen to her death in the bell-shaped pit, making it an inescapable trap. Number 11. Moai Statues Easter Island is shrouded in mystery. The location is over 2,000 miles off the coast of Chile and was discovered by Polynesian explorers between 700 and 1,100 BC. One of the most iconic things about this island are the huge human-like carved stone statues called Moai. These statues captured the fascination and curiosity of historians and travelers alike since they were spotted. No one really knows their purpose, how they were made, and who made them. You see, these stones are about 13 feet high and they weighed around 13 tons. They were carved from a quarry on the center of the island, and then they were moved to the coast. Just imagine, who did that? And just what drove them to accomplish such an arduous task? And most of all, why exert such an effort? 
According to legends, the Moai walked from the quarry to their final positions, and just surprisingly, when scientists analyzed the statues and the land from the quarry to the coast where the Moai now stand, it seems like these statues are actually transported in a standing position, with people pulling on ropes from side to side. Which means, just like the myth, the Moai really walked to their positions. Another curious thing is that all of the Moai statues face the island, but one of them faces the ocean. Anyway, before we get carried away by the mysterious origins of the Moai on land, there's also a Moai located off the southwestern shore of Easter Island. This sunken giant statue is now surrounded by an abundance of marine life. Why do you think the people used resources and manpower just to create these statues? And what do you think is their purpose? Number 10. Egyptian Tombstone Archaeologists don't only excavate sites, Sometimes they also search for ancient artifacts submerged in water. One underwater archaeologist dived in Sudan, particularly in the ancient burial site of Nuri. When archaeologists found this pharaoh's tombstone, they had no choice but to halt their journey because they couldn't access the tomb due to the rising water level. They dug down a 65-step stairway that led to the tomb entry, but the water made them stop and consider their next action. In 2019, after a hundred long years, a team of underwater archaeologists finally discovered what the tomb has to offer. In the tomb, they recovered pottery figurines and gold leaves. Historians believe that these offerings were dedicated to Nadesen, who was a minor pharaoh that ruled the Kush kingdom from 335 to 315 BC. Number 9. Giant Anaconda Aside from scary sharks, you might also be deathly scared if you see a giant anaconda swimming alongside you while you're diving. It's quite fascinating to see marine creatures, and it's one of the main reasons why people dive in the first place. But there are a bunch of scary marine animals out there. There are a few people out there that are brave, adventurous, and take risks. One of them is this diver that spotted a 23-foot giant anaconda while diving in a river in Brazil. Most people would have immediately gotten out of the water, but this diver chose to stay with the anaconda and swim along with the giant snake. Thankfully, these snakes aren't really venomous. They're actually constrictors, which means that they squeeze and suffocate their prey to death. In the video, you can see how adorable the anaconda looked. It didn't seem to be disturbed by the diver swimming alongside her, and she continued to swim calmly. Certainly, this dive is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Number 8. Crusader Sword As an amateur diver, you probably won't expect to find anything interesting or important while you're diving. Like say, oh, a crusader sword that's about 900 years old. But well, life is full of surprises. Just last year, an amateur diver discovered a 3.3-foot crusader blade while exploring the shallow waters of Haifa, Israel. Because it's been submerged in water for a very long time, the sword is covered with marine organisms. This sword was said to have been used during the Crusades that began in 1095 and lasted for centuries. The sword was said to be made of iron, and because of its weight, the wielder of this sword was very strong. The warriors that once held the sword must have been strong and big. It's certainly amazing that people discovered these iconic things that played a role in history. Number 7. Megalodon Teeth the tooth of a great white shark measures about 3 inches long and about 1.5 to 2 inches wide. On average, a great white can grow up to 15 to 16 feet. Now just imagine the behemoth that had teeth that measured more than 6 inches. That's roughly the size of a human hand. In October 2021, a team of divers found a whole and very much intact 6-inch shark tooth. What's surprising is that most megalodon teeth are around 4 inches long. It's safe to say that the megalodon that once wielded this tooth to catch its prey is a very large predator. It's the dream of many divers and fossil hunters to obtain this black gold. The Tooth of a Megalodon Megalodons are giant prehistoric sharks that lived about 2.3 to 3.4 billion years ago. If you're scared of modern day and great white sharks, then you might have a heart attack if you ever see a megalodon in real life. According to scientists and researchers, these amazing creatures could be up to 60 feet long and probably weighed up to 50 tons. For comparison, megalodons were longer than school buses. Imagine how strong of a predator it was. It probably ruled the ocean when it was still alive. Number 6. Oldest Alcoholic Drinks They say the older the wine, 
the better it gets. But do you have the courage to taste champagne recovered from a sunken ship that's been at the bottom of the Baltic Sea for nearly two centuries? Well, scientists follow the scientific method. I guess they can do a lot of things if it's for the name of science. A bunch of Finnish divers discovered the wreck of a centuries-old sunken ship, and inside, they recovered several crates of champagne and beer. Experts carefully analyzed and researched the alcohol. And then, yes, you guessed it right, they drank and sampled the alcohol. I guess 200-year-old booze will give you the push that you need. The divers themselves knew right off the bat that the champagne was drinkable when the cork popped off one of the bottles due to the changing pressure. The diver then decided to take a swig, and he expected to taste seawater more than anything else. But he was pleasantly surprised when he tasted the rich taste of champagne in his mouth. The divers then all had some ancient wine. And needless to say, when they brought it to an expert sommelier, they were more than happy to sample the wine. According to the sommelier, the wine still tasted fresh, and it had clear acidity that reinforced the alcohol sweetness. I'm not really an expert but for wine that's submerged in seawater for more than two centuries, that comment really ain't bad. Other people who tasted the ancient wine remarked that the alcohol tastes like lime blossoms, coffee, yeast, honey, and manure. Don't ask why there's a huge range of tastes. I guess to each their own. Number five, mammoth tusks. Take a look at this amazing tusk found off Florida's coast from Aquanut scuba diving charters. Some people may mistake this huge mammoth tusk for a large piece of wood in the water. The tusk, which was roughly 8 feet long, was found in the Gulf of Mexico during a routine scuba dive. The tusk was said to have belonged to a Colombian mammoth who went extinct nearly 11,500 years ago. Now, discovering a mammoth tusk is pretty amazing, not only because of their historic value, but because these tusks can be sold anywhere from $4,000 to $10,000 in the market, sometimes even more. However, it's not easy to obtain them, and there's only a limited number of them existing on our planet. And now it's time for today's topic. There are a lot of scary and frightening beings lurking underwater. Just recently, scientists and marine biologists have been discovering a lot of things in the ocean, and not gonna lie, most of them are kind of scary, because these creatures are living in a different environment. Their features are quite different from shallow-dwelling marine creatures. For instance, take a look at this picture. Do you think that there's a creature as gigantic and as terrifying as this marine animal? Well, I hate to say this, but there's actually a phenomena called deep sea gigantism. Basically, it's quite normal for deep sea dwelling creatures to be larger than their relatives living in shallow waters. Until today, scientists are still studying why there's a tendency for marine creatures to grow larger the deeper they live in the ocean. There are a few explanations that scientists propose. First, scientists hypothesize that the lower the temperature, the higher the chance it'll be that they grow enormous. For the second hypothesis, scientists think that because there's not really much food to eat, being large in size can be one of the natural adaptations these deep sea dwelling creatures have. Third, these creatures may be large because there's reduced predation in deeper waters. Why do you think deep sea gigantism happens? And do you think that the creature in this picture is real? Or is this another imagined creature by marine biologists? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Before we go on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. You just leave a like on this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. And that's it. Try it. Number four underwater Chinese city. Any diver would be surprised to see this huge city submerged underwater and frozen in time. This is the Lion City, an underwater site in China found at the bottom of Kando Lake. This once majestic ancient city was believed to have been built during the Tang Dynasty nearly 1,400 years ago. You're probably thinking, why is it now submerged in water and what happened to the people that once resided in it? Based on historic records, the city was enormous, probably the size of 60 football fields. It also had five city gates and towers which defies the norm of four at the time. The lost city still features beautiful architecture, and the ruins are still in remarkable condition. It's a sad sight to see this beautiful structure underwater, but it's also a breathtaking sight. The ancient city was flooded and sacrificed for the sake of industrialization and progress. 
It was done by the Chinese government in the year 1959, after a hydroelectric dam was required for the province of Zhejiang. Certainly, this is one of the biggest sacrifices ever made. Number 3. Mammoth Lake If you don't have a keen eye, you could easily miss any great things lying underwater. Just imagine if these two divers missed this unassuming bone in the Peace River in Florida. This four-foot bone is actually from a mammoth that probably roamed the Earth about 13,000 years ago. This bone was said to have belonged to the Columbian mammoth, which was said to be a hybrid between the woolly mammoth and another mammoth with an unknown lineage that arrived in North America from Siberia around 1.5 million years ago. This huge bone was part of the animal's femur, or thigh bone. Judging from the size of the bone, it must have been about 14 feet tall and weighed about 22,000 pounds. Number 2. Coelacanth Once believed to be extinct, a creature that lived between 360 to 65 million years ago, the coelacanth was one of the most amazing sightings divers ever had. These creatures are now called living fossils. The coelacanth belongs to the ancestors of tetrapods, which were four-legged and land-dwelling animals, just like us. These guys have four fins which look like limbs, and it's like they're doing a walking motion while in water using their limbs. These fish have a hinge in their skull. It can easily open its mouth to consume large prey. If you ever get the chance to spot one in real life, consider yourself lucky. Living near the Comoros Islands off the east coast of Africa and in the waters of Sulawesi, Indonesia, in the depths of 2,300 feet below the surface, these creatures are extremely elusive. These creatures can grow up to 6.5 feet or more, and they can live to 60 years or more. At first glance, you can already see how ancient-looking they are. But one of the most striking characteristics they have are their very thick scales, which are only seen in extinct fish. Number 1. Truck Lagoon's Ghost Fleet Found in Micronesia, the ghost fleet of Truck Lagoon is a tropical paradise full of World War II wrecks. During World War II, many ships and aircraft were sacrificed as the war and battle raged on. This lagoon was host to Japan's Imperial Fleet, then and now, the Truck Lagoon became the final resting place of hundreds of Japanese aircraft and other military machines. This lagoon is one of the world's best World War II wreck diver sites. Divers exploring the site are transported back in time, even though these wrecks symbolize loss of life and tragedy. For many of the Japanese soldiers, the lagoon is their final resting place, an eternal watery grave and devastating evidence of the consequences of war. Most of the vessels are in poor condition. Torpedoes probably damaged the steel hulls of some of these vessels, most of them having a macabre end. If you imagine the fate of these vessels, you'll certainly have a very bone-chilling scenario. Today, these wrecks serve as a reminder of what unfolded at a very crucial yet dark point in the history of mankind. What do you think of these discoveries? Which of these entries did you find the most interesting? And have you ever tried diving or snorkeling? What's the most interesting thing you saw while diving? Let us know about your thoughts and experiences in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.